here exploring the local life of the same top aluminum GoPro housing latch. Now we're going to just go ahead and start from opening it to pulling apart the GoPro latch and putting it all back together uh, because we're just going to go for it. And we're going to be joined by the voice of Nadia and maybe occasionally Daniel as well. So. We also have some rain going on in the background, so that's that nice, hopefully, um, background you here. Uh, some of the things that we're going to talk about is that the latch should be just um, functional, functionally identical to the GoPro latch. It should um, be just as waterproof uh, once it's all put together as the original comes through. And it's also available in different colors, in silver, black, blue, and red. But here we go. So first off, it comes in this little package here. Focus. And then, um, but I don't see a clear way of just opening it. So I'm gonna have to just try to rip it all open. And it does, it opens easily, woo hoo, -hoo. So Let's see what we have. Okay, it's wrapped. So from the looks of it, it looks identical as far as shape and design. So I'm going to go ahead and pull our GoPro out of its uh, current housing and see about how I go about putting it all together again. I'm going to put this right here. Now this is the latch we're focusing on, of course, the top latch. This is the same top aluminum GoPro housing latch. Feels really good to the touch, by the way. I mean, it feels like a high quality product. This is aluminum, it's not plastic. The original GoPro housing, I'm not knocking it in any way, is plastic. Um, it does its job well, but we're going to see again how the aluminum does. So, from what I can tell, I'm going to have to pull apart. What do I do? Oh, I'm going to um, put on my glasses. <laughs> Pull it off. <laughs> so it's a it's an open seat metal clamp. So you just sort of gently pull it apart. As also you know with the back of the GoPro, you just pull it off. So it looks like the same logic is in play. So now I'm just going to see about doing the reverse. Can you turn it towards us? Thank you. So I put it in on one side. I'm going to pull this out, and in we go. That was easy. Was there a big red button around here? That was easy. <laughs> so now the GoPro is going to go in. It feels perfect. Um, so from not testing it, we're going to be testing it underwater here in a little while. That was but easy. <laughs> it was easy, Daniel. I was I was a little concerned, but it's, it's simplicity in itself. But the feel of it is perfect. It latched on right away. Pulling it off. So what we're going to do now is we're going to test it underwater. Uh, we're going to remove the the uh, touch screen uh, back housing. We're going to put on the the uh, hard back with the floaty, which again is we're going to latch it all together. And the next thing you'll see is we'll be uh, dunking it underwater. All right, so now we're going to try the great dunking test. The same top aluminum GoPro housing latch shouldn't interfere with any of the waterproof qualities of the original GoPro uh, container uh, or housing. So we're just going to dunk it underwater and see how we go. Okay, so I'm holding it underwater. It bounces to the top. But right now, nice. Looks like we're waterproof. Staying dry. Okay. All right, so we're going to redo the dunk test, not for any failure of any sort, but because the floaty was sort of getting in the way of the dunk. So we put on the uh, GoPro rear latch for the touch screen, and we have our same top aluminum GoPro housing latch. We're going to continue to test here for you. And here we go. Close it in. We're secure. So here we go with the dunk test. Hard to do. 
<laughs> Swimming. They were testing the same top aluminum GoPro housing latch. Can I try? Yeah, sure. You want to dunk it? Yeah. Is any water getting in there? No? No. All right. And done. Cool. So let's put it on the towel. Now we're going to dry it off. And we're going to actually put the GoPro in it for the real test. <laughs> the test of danger. All right, so now we're going to continue with the same top aluminum GoPro housing latch. And we're actually going to put the GoPro in there and we're going to do the big dunk. So I'm going to use my glasses because I want to make sure I don't mess it up because we don't all want to mess up our technology. Checking on the inside, nice and dry. No water got in. I do. You will in a second, not. It's going to be just fine. Yeah. Latch is right on. Good fit, Nadia? Mm -hmm. Good fit. Good fit. Nadia, you want to dunk it nice and gentle? Mm -hmm. Put it in the water. Mm -hmm. Put it down and turn it around and upside down. In the water? No water. Mm, now let go of it, put it in there and let go. Don't drop it. And it out? No, turn it around. Flip it up. No, flip, flip it up like that. There you go. Can you say, this is Nadia for Exploring the Local Life? And also, just, just for reference again, we're not getting any money for this. They just sent us, uh, the same top folks sent us the latch. They want us to try it out on our video channel here for y'all. Um, and we didn't get any money for this. Um, looks to us like it's going to be a good latch. It's going to be a good product to continue to work with our GoPro. and adds a little bit of color, a little bit of flair, and a little bit of fun. So be sure to click like if you like the video, share, uh, and subscribe if you like it. And be sure to catch our other adventures as we go through our RV life, exploring uh, all the areas that we go to, having a lot of fun with our kids, like in an RV. Yeah, this thing is like peanut. The ups and the downs, and the fun that we can have.